All right, so today we are going to do two things. The first one is that we are going to look at how to download a backing track from the internet, how to find one, how to download it as an MP3, and then how to insert that into uh, GarageBand so that you can jam over it and record yourself. Okay, to get started, we're going to go to YouTube.com and we're going to look for a blues backing track in E. So hey, look at that. Slow blues backing track in E. So let's listen to it a little bit and see how it sounds. All right, I like that. I think that's something I can work with, and it's a nice 10 minute track, so you can get a lot of good jam time in there. So I'm gonna get that URL, and I'm gonna um, copy it to the clipboard. Okay, so I'm gonna go to this YouTube downloader. That you can see here, yt1s.com. So I put in the URL to the video, and then select that I want to download it as an MP3. So here is the download, it's converting, it's downloaded now. It's gonna do its thing, there it is. So you can see it's gonna take a little bit of time. Ta-da, all set. Okay, so now that we've downloaded the file, the next thing to do is open up GarageBand. So I'm gonna go down here, find GarageBand. If it opens up another past project, don't worry about it, just go to File and Close, because we wanna start a new project. So here it says Empty Project, so I'm gonna hit that. And then you want to make sure that it says down at the bottom here that your input is, your instrument is connected with iRig HD2 and that you hear sound from iRig HD2. Now on mine it says black hole here, but that's only because I'm doing this screen recording. So these should both say iRig HD2 and your headphones should be plugged in to the uh, headphone port on the iRig, not on the computer itself. So I'm going to select guitar and bass and I'm going to hit create. And now I've got a track here. And for guitar one, I'm going to call this my lead guitar. So I do a rename. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is make sure that I can hear it. And I'm going to go pick out uh, what kind of um, amp I want to use. So I'm going to go to Crunch Guitar. And I'm going to pick this Royal Rock. I like this one a lot for blues. Cool. And the next thing I'm gonna do is add in our backing track. So I'm gonna right click over here. I'm gonna say new audio track. And I'm gonna give this one a name. I'm gonna call it the backing track. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add in the audio file. Go find in my downloads here, the one that we just downloaded. Slow backing track in E. There you go. And then I want to turn off the, the built-in metronome and counter here because I'm not going to use either of those. And then I'm going to go back up and select my lead guitar track because this is the one that I want to uh, record over. I don't want to record over the backing track. So when I hit the record button, then it will uh, start recording on this track. So I hit record here.
Now I hit stop, and I can go back to the beginning and hear how I sound. Perfect, pretty much like John Mayer. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is make sure that I save my project. So I'm gonna call it, let's call this one Brian's Second Blues. And then I'm gonna export the file under the Share menu, Export Song Disk. And I'm gonna pick it to go on the desktop. And I'm gonna set the type as MP3. The name is Brian's Second Blues. And then I can hit the export button here. And this will actually go through the entire song. Of course, there's a lot I haven't jammed over yet because it's a 10 minute backing track. And it'll actually produce a 10 minute long MP3 that I could then do whatever I want with. If I want to upload it to uh, Facebook or send it to somebody in an email, I can do all that or just keep it for myself and be able to refer back to it later. The other cool thing with guitar, uh, guitar on GarageBand is that you could add other tracks. So I could go back to here and I could add in a second guitar if I wanted to. So let's say this and let's say that I wanted to play like a little rhythm guitar. And I could go in and create my own little rhythm track to go with it too. Same kind of thing.